Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and welcome to my quilt block series. In each of these videos I'm going to show you how to make a different block and they're all going to measure 12 inches. I hope you like this video, if you do click the like button and please let me know in the comment section below what other videos you'd like me to make. Let's get quilting. This is my quilt block notebook and it's available on Amazon. The links are in the comment section below. And if you click on the link above, it'll take you to my video all about it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the arrowhead block. And this block will finish at 12 inches. And if you'd like to know how to use this block in a quilt, please watch to the end of this video where I've got some illustrations to show you how to use it. In background fabric, you will need 16 2 by 2 inch squares for the 9 patches and 16 2 by 2 inch squares for the arrowheads. In fabric A, you will need one 3.5 inch square. In fabric B, you will need eight two by two inch squares. In fabric C, you will need 12 two by two inch squares. In fabric D, you will need four three and a half by five inch strips. Making the nine patch units. Lay out the two inch squares from the background fabric, fabric B and fabric C. As shown here. Pin the bottom row squares to the middle row squares, right sides together. And sew with a quarter inch seam. Finger press or use a seam roller and press the seams towards the darker fabric. As shown here. Return to the unit layout. Pin the top row squares to the columns as shown. Sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Finger press or use a seam roller and press the seams towards the darker fabric. Return to the unit layout. Nest the seams together and pin in place. So with a quarter inch seam as shown. Finger press or use a seam roller to press the seams open. Return to the unit layout. Nest the seams together and pin in place. Sew with a quarter inch seam as shown. Finger press or use a seam roller to press the seams open. Repeat to make four identical nine patch units. Making the arrowheads using corner rectangle units. Use the three and a half by five inch pieces in fabric C 
and four of the two inch squares in the background fabric. Draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the background fabric squares. As shown here. And repeat for all four squares. Pin the squares in opposite corners of the rectangle as shown. Sew on top of the drawn lines. Cut a quarter inch away from the drawn line. As shown here. Press towards the triangles. Pin the other squares in the remaining corners with the drawn lines as shown. Sew on top of the drawn line as shown. Cut a quarter inch away from the drawn line. As shown here. Press towards the small triangles. Repeat to make four units. Block layout. Place your units in the block design. Pin the bottom row units together and sew with a quarter inch seam. Return to the block layout. Pin the top row units together and sew with a quarter inch seam. Press the seams in the directions shown. Pin the right column to the centre column and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Return to the block layout, there's no need to press yet. Pin the left column to the centre column and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Return to the block layout and press the seams open. Congratulations, you have made the arrowhead quilt block. Here are some quilt options. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block. There is no sashing or borders, but the use of the white background fabric in the block allows the design and fabrics to stand out. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block placed on point. There is no sashing or borders, but you would need to add blocks in background fabric in between the blocks shown here with the stars. And use setting triangles around the edges, again shown here with the stars. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block but with sashing, cornerstones and borders. And finally, this is an illustration 
of a sampler quilt using some of the blocks from this quilt block series. The sashing in this quilt is in the white background fabric. The cornerstones and border is in a darker fabric to pop and frame the quilt. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. More of these videos will be posted, so please tune in. Thank you for watching and bye for now.